So, okay. Well, we will uh, try here and get this, right, man. this guy go. So, how you doing, Andy? Good. So, we will start. I need a break. Everybody needs a break. Well, let's see here. And you don't want to have this bow right there. Uh-huh. Turn the control power on. And let's go, go, go. Oh, I haven't turned the contact right over there. I'm on the bus. Okay. So. We start with our history of the team. Like when we got red hot the last time, we went suddenly to 20, 30 amps. Yeah. That's simply because it's become much more conductive, much more susceptible, because it's no longer ferromagnetic. Right. Now we're smoking. That's always good. Is it being hot now? I can't tell. Yeah, touch it. <laughs> yeah, touch it. Is it true? Yeah. Oh, that's wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can smell the heat. Uh, 170 volts, 10 amps. Uh, About 2200, 24 watts. Gonna I'm going to have to back off here. Because suddenly it's going to become a side in just a minute. But the bottom is going to get hot first. Now uh, here it starts to go. Up. Do you watch it slip? Mm -hmm. The point of resonance is changing. There, there we go. And you can hear the supply sound happier. Yeah. Well, let's see. So 20 amps, 150 volts, that's uh, 2,000, 2,000, 3,000 watts. Turn down my tubes here. Oh my gosh, it's a hot to be. Yeah, I'm holding my hand. Didn't you guys say you had it sparking on Saturday? Yeah, you'll see it do that again. Okay. I should turn this up more. Yeah. It's like you're playing some arcade music instrument. <laughs> yeah, right? The third one that keeps going. So it's at about 60.6 kilohertz, which is actually exactly where we measured, or the, or the four, where the math actually says it should be, which I is mean, unusual. Imagine, imagine if you can. And now it's going to start getting real, real dang hot. Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> I'm sure you can. And that's why the water cooling is so important. <laughs> you got to catch it before it trips the breaker like that. Why is the yellow light not blinking? The you know, light's not on because the contactor's not on because we're running on DC. Mm -hmm. So I added these power, the 75 amp power poles here, so you can just bypass the bridge rectifier and the input contactor and just go. Okay. So that's real, real toasty. We'll see if we can get a little farther here. So what would have happened if the I... The limiting really factor right now is convection. Yeah. I wonder if I turn this down, it'll get hotter. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if I were to push this down by four inches? Uh, power, input power would drop because you'd be back in the instrument of heating again. And so the resistance would go up. Is that video taping? Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. I didn't want you to, uh, somebody say, oh, shoot, here's a question. You could go say hi to Larry. <laughs> 